Josephine. Why are you standing there, and why the downcast face? How did the interview go? Dad. Come closer, Josephine, and tell me what happened. So, tell me how the interview went. I was rejected once again, Dad. I'm growing increasingly frustrated. What have I not done? Am I not good enough? I have a weird feeling my appearance is a hindrance. No. My daughter. Your being rejected has nothing to do with your appearance. You have to accept that rejection is teaching you a worthy lesson. Dad, what do you mean? Don't lie to me. You are well aware that the journalism industry is only interested in the beautiful girls in order to protect their brand image. I just don't measure up. Before you conclude, maybe my story about how I was rejected in my clinical practice, which led to many other rejections, will help you out. What happened, Dad? Unfortunately, a patient died in my care due to my own negligence. Really? Kindly pass me the forceps. Doctor, he's losing a lot of blood. I need the scissors and retractors. Doctor, his condition is getting critical. Please keep your focus and let's keep working. His heart rate is dropping. It seems like he's passing out. We have to do something, doctor. Save me, doctor. After that unfortunate incident, my clinical license was revoked because, according to the association, I made a fundamental human error that could have been avoided. That's unfortunate. How was life afterwards? Life became very difficult for me because that was my source of living. I tried to get myself employed again in the health sector, but all efforts proved futile. No one wanted to employ me. Finally, I accepted my fate. I was no longer cut out for the health sector. I can imagine how difficult it was for you to be rejected on numerous occasions. Yes. It was not easy to accept my daughter, but God had a different plan for me. One day, just alone in the forest, I prayed to God. I have come before you, Father. You have told me to ask you for whatever I need. You said that if I asked, it would be given. If I seek, I will find. If I knock, the door will be open for me. I ask you for guidance and direction now, Lord, and I pray that you will answer my request. You are a perfectly good father who only ever gives good gifts to his children. You love to give good gifts to those who ask. As your humble child, I ask for the gift of wisdom today. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Amen. After that short prayer of faith, it dawned on me that I should start my own floral business because I loved everything about flowers. No wonder you're one of the greatest florists in this town. God has indeed led you. Yes, but that didn't come on a silver platter. I also had my fair share of rejections when I started. An instance was when a man visited my shop for the first time and smote me with harsh words. Sir, I hope you like my flowers. See, my man, your flowers are very disgusting. I think you will be better off doing something else than being a florist. You are the worst florist I've seen in this neighborhood. This man lacks good manners. He was right. I hadn't learned my trade well. After that day, I started visiting the library to learn more about flowers and their cultivation. The man's harsh words and rejection turned out to be a blessing in disguise. In the course of my research, I learned so many things about flowers, which came in very handy. That was the breakthrough that eventually led to the successful growth of my floral business. So you see, in our journey through life, rejections are not meant to break us but to teach us a lesson along the way. Rejection taught me to reevaluate myself. I lost my job as a medical doctor, but rejection helped me identify a career I truly loved. Rejection taught me to be strong, resourceful, and capable when the chips are down. Rejection reminded me I'm human after all, and it was natural for me to be rejected no matter how extraordinary I think I am. So, Dad, are you saying that I was turned down because I need to find something else to do besides journalism? No. Josephine. 
That's not what I meant. In your case, you may need to improve in certain areas that will make it impossible for you to be rejected. Your supposed evaluation of how you look may not even count when the right company that appreciates your abilities comes your way. Be thankful for the rejections and keep working hard on yourself. One day, your breakthrough will come. I love you, Dad. You are my inspiration. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more inspirational videos from Solar Tunes.